So the story I like to tell about the history of this product is when we released the product, we thought this is mostly going to be used for commissioning new systems and for troubleshooting existing systems. But Matt was just explaining how he uses it in his business and he's using it more in the sales process as a tool to find out if the ducts are adequate for the new system or not beforehand. When you show it to customers and show them the report, like, okay, here's what we learned about your ducts and whether they're okay or whether they're not okay, that sets you apart from your competition. They realize nobody else is doing that analysis and it really helps you to set yourself apart and set yourself up as, you know, this. we can really improve the performance of your system because we're going to get the airflow right. The other thing I do love is is taking a look afterwards, kind of comparing a before and after because uh, it's teaching me as I am doing installations and things like that. And I, and I, I you know, I think, oh, well, let me let me upgrade this part or upgrade that part of their of their duct system. And then I see how it responds when I put this back in after I'm done. Yep. Um, and I kind of see what I did right, what I did wrong. So it's kind of that you get you get like a perpetual kind of like a like a learning flywheel going. Yeah, exactly. And you know, there's there's certain things you just have to kind of learn by experience. And like filters, for example, that's one of those things where you know people ask me, well, if I have a MERV of this size and that rating, well, what pressure drop is that going to be? And it really totally depends on the manufacturer. But you know, with the filter that you use. You can test it and you can learn, oh, with our brand, we use a, always use a four inch deep filter and we use this size for that tonnage of equipment and we know that that's gonna give us a pressure drop of like 0.1 and that's gonna be great in almost every system. If you haven't seen the video about the roomulator, the roomulator works with the DG8 manometer to make sure that you're not pressurizing bedrooms when the door is closed. And if you don't know about that, search for roomulator, look at the video. What happens is if you're blowing air into the bedroom and there's not an open door to get it back to the filter grill in the hallway, the bedroom gets pressurized. And that's a problem because it means that you're blowing conditioned air out through the cracks in the bedroom walls and into the, into the attic. But it also means you're depressurizing the rest of the house and you're reducing the airflow to that bedroom. So pressurizing bedrooms is a big problem. You, easy, easy way to fix that is just by measuring the pressure. You probably have to add a jump duct or a transfer grill to get the air back out. Yeah. The other thing that we have, I. This is uh, fairly new. We've just started including a special drill bit. I don't know if we can like zoom in on that, hopefully mm. get a little background, but this is a, a drill bit that has a built-in stop and it has a brad point tip that cuts a very clean burr-free hole through sheet metal in your ducts or in the cabinet of the equipment so that you can measure the static pressure. And it's got the hex shank so it goes right into your impact driver 